Hello and welcome to Mind and Money Show, where we talk all things mindset, money management and our entrepreneurial journey. Along the way, we're going to throw in some amazing guests for good measure. I'm Shane Highland. I'm Gareth Shears. This show is going to change your life and teach you skills that school never taught you. Boom. You know this awards we're going to next week? Okay. Here's a picture somebody put on it. Can people see that? Probably can't zoom in on that. It is a Mars layered brownie. Well. So I, I don't get that. I would smash that brownie. That brownie is a brownie is a brownie though. Is it? Well it is. I like I, I like I hate when they add these like what well, well, put a Mars in there. You're not really gonna taste that over the over the riches of a brownie. You are just a sugar monster, aren't you? Love, love it. Do you know what? When when we go back to Ireland most years, and a friend of mine uh, over there, his wife's mother, when they were getting married years ago, it's a tangent, she makes these Rocky Road cakes. Oh, I, that Rocky Road I don't get either. And it is, I think it is technically, she gets, she goes into the local shop and just zoom, and then throws, throws it, it in, smashes it all up, and there is... Uh, Rollos in there. There is pieces of bis- oh, digestive biscuit. I remember there is Rollo's pieces of Yorkie. Oh, this is superb. When the, when they were getting married, his mother in law made this. I had about nine sections of it. So now she associates me with that. So every time we go over to them, and they are going away with us to a hotel for a night or two, or we're, we're going to stay somewhere, this mother in law makes this rocky roll and goes. Bring that now. I know Shane likes that. It's just it's just feeding a habit. Do you remember the remember the remember the brownies? Who what are the brownies we buy? Gower Gower Co- cottage brownies, right? Do you remember when I we Kids had some, are terrible. And I, and I I ate the top layer one when they arrived, didn't I? And then realized I'd probably done about two thousand calories in literally the space of about half an hour. I felt pretty sick as well. The, the sickness so doesn't, good. The sickness doesn't kick in until you finish the last one. Because you just keep going and going and going. What's your favourite dessert then? Favourite dessert? See, I do like brownies with some milk. Yeah, but I'm talking dessert. Like, I'm not talking just a cake. I'm talking dessert. Something you'd have after a meal with maybe custard or ice cream on. Probably a nice rhubarb tart. With oh, custard, but not cinnamon. Don't know why people put cinnamon into apple tarts and stuff like that. There's no need for cinnamon. See, I like a sponge. I like like a um, like a jam sponge type of cake. Do you know what I mean? Like a really like. What about the, the one where you dip the top? What's it called? Um, you dip the toffee in the top of it. Um, just eat toffee. Dip the top. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh, that's a very the, British thing. We see. I we like don't. Steak. We don't have that in Ireland. Yeah, yeah. I, like I can take or leave it. I like steak chocolate. I do like a steam pudding though, like a. Like a spotted dick, or a, if you guys say that, can you? Um, that's what it's called. Um, we'll link to a picture of that now. See if I can get it. Christmas pudding. Hate it. Oh, I don't it was... like fruit. Don't do you like fruit puddings? Don't get it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's alcohol as well. Don't like to with alcohol. Oh yeah, but, uh, like uh, like oh. at Christmas, right? When when we used to go to the families years ago, quite a big kind of family, and used to do a trifle. And they'd have Not to a do a non sherry trifle for me because I cannot eat it. And I also don't like, you know, that crappy tinned um, fruit, which you actually can't even make out what is in it. You know, when they oh, put yeah, in the bottom yeah. of a trifle? Yeah. Terrible. It's got to be raspberries or strawberries in the trifle. Oh, but, but it can't be any alcohol in it. Christmas, can't do Christmas desserts pudding. Alcohol. Loads of Guinness in it, loads of whiskey. It's made in January. It's awful. You leave it and you let it set for it's 12 like months. It's so much better than put alcohol in it. And then you take it out and you, you boil it for whatever, about, you know, 27 hours. And then you put a ladle with brandy over and you you burn. Oh, and then you get brandy sauce. Brandy yeah, I can't, I can't oh. have brandy sauce either. Give me normal custard any day. Do you know what? I, I, Creme anglaise. I, do you know? I, I'm getting excited for Christmas already. I did put a, link, a message out today. Silly season's coming then. Silly season's coming. You love silly season. I do love you? silly season. I, I did put a, 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 an idea out on social media today on LinkedIn and say, last weekend... I did want to put up our outdoor Christmas decorations and I was told it was too early to go. 
So I put it out there to people saying, is it too early to do it now or do I have to wait? Because it does. Not until after my birthday. My birthday is 28th of November. You cannot put Christmas decorations on my birthday, albeit. So we, like, if any, anyone knows, and I'll, I'll show you a picture of it, because our house at Christmas is usually like um, clock, clock grizzles from the National Lampoon's Christmas. Um, our house with lights. But this year, we're probably going to disappoint the neighbours. Probably not disappoint them with the amount of lights we have in the house. But we're not going to done this year because the guy who does it doesn't do it anymore. So i still got lights up on the house, but I can guarantee about 30 of the bulbs will be out and it's going to look bizarre. It makes people happy, though. You know, you, you know when you drive, you go into a town... You see Christmas decorations of pubs, restaurants, yeah. um, shopping centres. Then you drive driving past places. You see, you know, little villages have, have lights up. You go past people's houses and they make they make an effort. And, you know, they, they blow up Grinches. Well, see, so the efforts of Ikefili, like, literally, like, some of them have been up since October. They, I, I do wonder whether anyone takes them it, down. It is silly season. It's the it. beginning of it. I suppose it, it ties in relevant. And... Which, if anyone is listening to, you know, the far from places that they listen to uh, for this pod- podcast on YouTube in Mauritius or, you know, Dubai or Australia or New Vietnam, New Zealand, a uh, few people in Ireland. Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. They, the, I don't know who's listening to it in Papua New Guinea. The start Guinea, of mind, Christmas, but... from what I can see over the last 20 years in Wales, is Beaujolais Day. And outside of the little bubble that is co- called Wales, nobody has a bloody clue what Beaujolais Day is. Do you want to explain to them it? what it is? Well, the, the, the real definition of... Actually, I'll, I'll give you the real definition of Beaujolais Day now, and I'll stand by. So, Beaujolais Day is a very famous day. In, well, Swansea kind of... Originated, is the, didn't originated, it? But, then, but they used to do it in Bristol. Um, Hence why we're dressed up a bit more... Uh, yeah, we're, we're, than, we're, than we're, normal. we're entertaining today. So... Um, Beaujolais Day. So, Beaujolais Nouveau Day is a French holiday that takes place on the third Thursday of November every year. So, this year is the 17th of November. Um, so, it celebrates... Um, I'll tell you exactly what it celebrates now. Um, the, so, owing to its proximity to Thanksgiving, many of the Americans choose the crimson red wine with a refreshing... Awful adverts come up on the screen... Um, the wine is fermented, a refreshing, fruity taste in the cup of the holiday meal. The wine is fermented for over a week, for a few weeks, using, that can't be the right one for drinking Beaujolais. Anyways, how many people History of Beaujolais will be drinking that Through the red harvest wine of Beaujolais, no way, been celebrating for centuries. But I, I, I don't know anywhere else that celebrates it no. like with us in Wales. And like... And it's massive. Not to kind of dress it up too much, but... It's just an extremely social day in Cardiff. You will not get into a restaurant in Cardiff on Beaujolais Day or Swansea. I've never been to Swansea, but Cardiff, I've been doing it for probably the best part of a decade um, or more or two now. decades. Pushing into the... Well, six or seven o'clock this decade. evening, people will be, what's the technical term, well-oiled, and the, one of the more popular um, areas in Cardiff, Mill Lane and that, will be absolutely heaving, oh, like yeah. it's an international day in rugby. Yeah, yeah. And it, be, it will literally be. It it's would literally be strange. crazy. It's, but to, for me, it's the, today, Beaujolais Day is the start of silly season for Christmas. This is the, this is the very start of today because you know people yeah, you know, it is the people booking in and um, ladies sure. getting haircuts today, nails getting done. It's a, it's a massive thing. I think the ladies would have prepared themselves yesterday. It'd be a bit late today because most people start at 12 o'clock. It's an all dayer if anyone knows what an all dayer is. Um, but it's a bit of an all day kind of session. Not that we're promoting drinking to excess. At all, but today will be for a lot of people. Will be for a lot of people. Not you know, for everyone, though. It it, it ties in ro- uh, well with chatting today because we haven't had the autumn budget yet. That, that could be a bit of a, that's today. Isn't it? That's today. That um, so we've done it ju- probably about an hour before we've recorded. It's about an hour before it comes out, so there could be all sorts of poo hitting fans and that today. But it's from wh- it from what people are nice. saying, <laughs> there's going to be a lot more turbulence um, ahead. Um, and it's going to be painful for people, you know, and it's going to it's going to affect a lot of people. And they're trying, from what I read, to say, you know, those higher earners are going to be more affected, which I totally agree with. You know, in, in a nice way, if you pay tax, it means you're successful. And so you should pay tax. So um, that's just the way I look at it. But for many. Going on about silly season, I, I'm fearful 
for a lot of people because I think a lot of the stuff that people do now taking into account the last two or three years of going we deserve a good Christmas the kids deserve a good Christmas we're going to make sure we have our family together and um, people are, are going to spend like there's no tomorrow on Beaujolais Day Christmas parties uh, Christmas food all of that and I think a bit like the, the government we've actually do start spending on Christmas food this year <laughs> Intentionally, or have you budgeted and go? That's how much we're going to spend. Or we just you just intentionally? No, like... intentionally. Really, I think I think we've been quite mindful that like we've always bought our kind of Christmas stuff from M and S, um, because they do that Christmas kind of order ahead and stuff like that. But the quality of the meat's not that brilliant, and we use a local butcher for our meat now, who delivers it to us, and it's I I'm inclined to say it's near on a quarter of the price what M and S are charging. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, like like the ham M and S do, is pretty small. Very expensive when I can get a bigger piece of ham for less money, which actually tastes exactly the same. It's not better, actually, I would probably say. Um, and it's like, what do you put on the gammon? How do you do it? Oh, I don't know. Cat does that normally. I don't, I don't do that. I don't do the ham. I Boil do, it? I do the. So I, I, I generally cook Christmas Day. Um, Boil the gammon? Next Boil day. it. Probably, there'll probably be. Cloves? Yeah, cloves. Ma- Honey. Maple syrup. Honey, maple syrup, um, uh, some spices, bra- pasta brown sauce, uh, the brown, brown um, sugar, brown sugar called uh, Demerara. Demerara, yeah, and then cook it, yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect, yeah, roast it, yeah, two days later, yeah, yeah. Um, well, with avi- avi- bird flu this year, they have said that the price of turkeys are going to be astronomical. I booked my stuff. Bird flu is that what's happening in yeah. China at the moment? Isn't it? No, it's over here. Did you see the um all the the shops the last few days have run out of eggs? Well, as you well know. I don't watch the news. Shock horror. But it's so negative. I don't watch it. Out of eggs. So I actually miss out on all these things. People say this. I mean, you see that in the news. I'm like, no, I didn't see it. No. Do you know the other thing this year, not this year, it's every year that I, I have the issue with, and maybe it's because I'm almost a Christmas Grinch. <clears throat> and and it's no, I'm not being sexist, but it, because it's my wife that does it, and probably a lot more ladies, they go and buy little gifts for each other. You know, the, yeah. the 10 or 12 pound boots. Yeah, but those Pack ten or twelve pounds are going to be more like fifteen twenty now with the now, price early. If you've got ten friends, at fifteen pounds a go, it's one hundred and fifty quid, and all you're doing is gifting. You know, I think that there needs to be all right, Scrooge, an understanding this year that maybe Christmas won't be tough because we're going to be in a giddy season. Yeah, but right. January is going to be difficult, and um, January onwards, twenty twenty three is going to be a difficult year. Whether we, let's not make any bones about it, you know, and it's not us being negative. Yeah. 2023 onwards is going to be a tough old run and, you know, only the strong will survive. And you've seen, or I've seen, a lot of posters coming at the moment is lots of credit card lenders offering me credit facilities at the moment, which is very easy. Fill out a form, go online, apply, get a credit card, three, four, five, six, ten grand. It's very easy to get debt at the moment to cover um, a Christmas period. But it's, when does that kick in? February. January, January, February, and and it's going to be horrible. I think people need to have an understanding that th- there needs to be a, a few changes or tweaks in what they've done over the past, and and simple things. I think you know, like like budgeting for Christmas and and understanding and setting aside an amount of money to spend on Christmas presents, or are setting aside an amount to spend on Christmas mm. food that day, and not buying fifteen boxes. How much do you? How much do you waste like Christmas time? Do you know what I mean? The end of eating to excess. And that's that's something we've been a bit conscious of this year is that we have so much food normally over Christmas and and you end up passing it around the families, whoever wants, whoever turns up, you all take take a bit of foil with some food in. You know what I mean? Take some foil and food in mean, take some food and some foil, whichever it might be. Um you end up like kind of and food just gets passed around over Christmas. And I and kind of by about the twenty seventh I'm fed up with Christmas food anyway and getting back to some sort of normality. And then you haven't Turkey curries and all that, you know, you buy. Well, I like curry though, slow cook, cheap curry. But that that that's another. Worst so, worst so day of the year. Everything. Worst day of the year. Blue Monday. Where's that? The third. I haven't wrote that. The third Monday in January. Why is that? Because they haven't ended Christmas. They do do go back to to work. Does a credit card statement arrive on the third? I thought it was, I thought it was February. No, I thought it was later in the month. Yeah. Um. I know there's, there is there is a, um, a formula for it. I, I know Chris will probably put it up uh, there. But it says, the theory goes that this time, it's the time of year when we're all cold, broke, and riddled with guilt. 
that our New Year's resolution to get fit, drink less alcohol and be a better human being has fallen by the wayside. Um, <laughs> and it's the arrival of the credit card statement. The weather is at its worst oh. and the extra few pounds gained over Christmas seem hard to shift. Blue Monday. So we have all that to look forward well, that's to. We have, we have that's positive. Many that. weeks of indulgence. Merry and everyone, Christmas, everyone. everyone thinks, I can't believe I put on a few pounds over Christmas. Because we sat down watching James Bond digging into the 15th box of Quality Street as we open up a can or a bottle of red and chomp us don't drink over Christmas. And yeah. constantly feel hungry. They don't drink over Christmas at all. But, you know, we, we, we've joked not about... Not I drink much anyway. No, it's not. Might change, might change on board later, but um, awesome. that's, that's, <laughs> but um, yeah, coming back to James Bond, do you watch James Bond at Christmas? Love James Bond, but he's on all the time now, it's not just matter. Christmas, it doesn't it? matter. We'll be, we'll, I'll, I'll be watching The Santa Claus with um, Tim, Tim the Toolman Taylor, what's his name, Tim Allen, Tim Allen. Um, that was the program, Tim the Toolman Taylor, he was. Um, I will probably be watching that about 800 times. My the, the young lady will like that. Yeah, she fine. literally is. They've got a TV version right now, but that's going by the way. So there's a six part series of uh, the Santa Claus starting tomorrow. It, it comes back to a lot of this stuff, though, that we've said it numerous times. People and their education with money, their understanding of money, their relationship, their habits and behaviours with money yes. has been incorrect. And is continuing to be incorrect. And if you don't know what you're doing wrong, you're never going to change it. And there needs to be an education of um, developing good habits, good relationships and good um, ideas with money to ensure that people try and get out of this um, cyclical, cyclical um, out of debt. Because it's going to continue. Because trying to pay off the debt in January um, will impact potentially on Easter... Summer holidays, um, going back to school next September, which even though it is miles away, people almost need to start budgeting for that now. It doesn't. But, that, but the, the thing with that debt and all that, it doesn't help mental health. No. It really doesn't because it, like, they, they do say some of the biggest causes of stress and money worries. Yeah. It, it is a horrible thing and it, it is cyclical. And the more debt you get in, the more you're paying back and the less you have to spend. And it, it just mounts up and mounts yeah. up and mounts up. And... So there's a reason why we're talking about this, though, isn't it? It's coming into silly season and people are going to be spending a shed load of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're going to be very happy for the next six weeks. But come that cold winter's nights in January and then hit Blue Monday, things are going to go a bit pear-shaped. And people are going to start to panic. They're going to start potentially doing <clears throat> the wrong things for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and that will have a cyclical effect on the rest of 2023. So what are we going to do about it? Uh, I think from probably the second week in January, we are yep. going to run a very quick, they call it a quick sprint money management four week course, which will give people some tips, tricks, create new habits, create new behaviors on how to deal with their money, their debts, their relationship with money, and ultimately their own happiness. Yeah, four weeks. Hour and a half sessions, once a week for four weeks. And we'll teach you everything that we've learned and we know and educate people on about money management and how to kind of weather the store post Christmas and then into potentially a recession, which we're coming into. So there's going to be a link in the notes below, okay, for this. Uh, and you can register your interest now, and then we will release the dates. It'll all be done via Zoom. You'll be able to, if you register, you'll still be able to see it recorded as well. So you'll be able to catch up on it, but we will be running it live with Q&A at the end. So you can ask questions to us, and we'll answer those questions to the best of our ability. And how much is that going to cost people? Maybe their time. We, we will do this on a free basis because people need to be educated. I know so, people say that you don't get anything for free in life, they, but this is completely free. There is a need for people to be educated and understand yeah. this. So we're going to run this for free. Um, all that is going to be um, a commitment needed is your time. Yeah. So we run that in January. So I said, register your interest. When we get the uh, the dates finalised, 
we will send a link for you to register and um, to sign mm -hmm. up and take it from there. Lovely. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's been early still November. Thanks for listening, and if you enjoyed this episode, then please subscribe, and remember to follow us on social media for more content like this.